Hello everyone who may be watching now later on on YouTube. You are here along with Rakir. <laughs> Rakir. Okay. okay, timing. I tried my sleek imitation and failed. <laughs> and yeah, welcome back to the Legacy of Cain Blood Omen 2 for the ninth time, I think. Uh, wait, did I mess up the time? It did I mess this one up again with, uh, with... Let's see. I forgot, I forgot if it is supposed to be 9th or 10th now. Uh, blood... Hydrophobia... Let's see... I th yeah, this is supposed to be number 9, and I, s di I s somehow s still kept it to number 8 in the description. And once again, this stupid game won't release my mouse. I do not get why it just refuses to at times. Okay, at least it's this time it's just a number difference. And we might as well just move straight in. This probably will be the last time uh, that we'll be streaming this game because this, we're obviously very close to the end. Oh. Another Hilden. Okay, why are... I'm guessing those... I'm guessing those are just test subjects? What? They are just moved to the field. They looked like they were... Like they ran out of their team, but... Some of them backstabbed mm. Or they no longer found that the, that seemed a bit awkward. Yeah, I don't see why... I don't see why these demonic things would be harassing you know, the servants. Yeah. <sighs> okay, that that somehow broke the barrier spell. I always oh, is glyph in she. Actually, demon energy? Uh, yeah, well, I'm pretty sure last time they said that the energy that they've been using is basically the energy of this mass creature that they were talking about. And. Okay, that's quite a different music. This game has been missing music for so much that I only now really noticed when there's music playing again. Now you just mentioned it, but I only now realize there's music. Yeah. Um, in other areas there has been background noise. Yeah. And I just realized, I recall reading that there's supposed to be a level where you're supposed to take over a uh, <clears throat> prostitute to do something, but... In this game? Yep. I... Well, <laughs> we've... I'm pretty sure we've not seen that, if that even exists. Maybe that was cut from the game or something. I don't know what it was cut. But not a project, they just call it Wench. And there must have been an entire... A very long text and you need to control one or something, but... Yeah, you know, I don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've not seen anything that even comes close to a goblin. Like even these guys are closer to some sort of undead elves. Yeah, I'm not even use the term elf. Yeah. And the closest the goblins I've seen in. All of uh, the game series would be the slow, but they are—they are their own thing. Yeah. So they definitely serve the role of a like, goblin. Yeah. Though the word wench was used pretty 
pretty w broadly is the word I'm looking for. Yeah. So it it could have just meant any woman, basically. Yeah, but I think I think it was in. I think it was a, interesting. It was it was as a harbor winch, like um, a, someone that is at the harbor and such. Well, we're long gone from the harbor. Yeah. So what what source for had you, did you have for this? Uh, the wiki. Okay. Yeah. But uh, again, I could, I might have, I was uh, quick reading it, so. Yeah, okay, so you might, you might have just mistaken, mistaken other words together or something. Yeah. Because I've had that happen that you're looking through something a bit quick, you think you see one thing, but then you check back and it reads uh, something else. Yeah, or in. Or in another case, you you did read right, but you forgot to read another part. Yeah. Like uh, if there was a thing in the corner saying it was cut from the game, or something like that. What is with all these boxes? With, with it almost looked like the, <laughs> the Brotherhood of Nod logo on it. Brotherhood okay. of Nod? Wait, wait, okay, let's take. Okay, it, it is a triangle and it has, well, some red <laughs> on it, but beyond that, not really. Yeah, uh, yeah the, the Brotherhood of Nod has a, a scorpion stinger for its symbol. Yeah, I, I can see now what you mean. Myself, we took that symbol earlier for it as a potion bottle. And yeah, I guess we just immediately proved that if you glance at something, you can read the you can see the wrong thing in it. Yeah. Why the hell are you auto walking, Kane? Stop that, you. What? Uh, the moment. That happened. When I landed on that thing the first time, he started auto walking. And now again he did it. Okay, now you behave. Alright. I would not be surprised if there was some kind of bug that happened due to the idiots moving up and down. Yeah, we've had it happen constantly that this game somehow sticky keys itself. Yeah, that, that, that's a very annoying thing. And I think I only just now realized what's the difference between the blue and the red boxes, or maybe. Because the blue one here obviously gave experience but I can't say if any red ones gave health instead then hmm I know that one okay, of the a power up to the weapons but yeah that's the uh, the weapon box but that one gives a purple glow and doesn't have any blue or red on top of it Actually, it doesn't have. It's just a box. It ha doesn't have any color to it. And uh, I just realized that I forgot something because, of course. <sighs> Processor. Yep. Call it. And I did remind you this time. Yeah, but then I got distracted by renaming this thing the wrong thing. But yeah. Yeah, far from an uh, experience. Not for, far from a professional streamer, huh? And that's new. Okay, uh... Wolverine's Origins' Deadpool is coming for us. Yeah, come on! And of course it gets pixelated now. Come on! And, okay, that thing looks... Actually terrifying. Okay, am I going to actually get it in an, <clears throat> an opportunity to attack without it bullshit blocking what should be a landing attack? Yeah, I look. How do you like getting stunned? Like, come, you were in my range there. Uh, 
Yeah. It's almost as if this game tries to prove me wrong or whatever compliment I do give it, huh? Yeah. See, at least they don't take forever to kill, even with only bare hands. And speaking of, I should go grab the axe here again. Uh, I think I realize what is up with that thing. The fact it that it has a blade stuck in its arms. Uh, that too, um, you said that you compared it to Wolverine, right? Yeah, or actually Deadpool. From a uh, Wolverine Origins, the move that's a movie, and one that uh, <laughs> people do not like at all. Uh, that's closer to that. Here's the thing: it has only one thumb, and replaced all five fingers with one damn big blade. <laughs> so they are closer to that. Oh. Good gods, what's her name? Yeah. The, the Asian woman will be important to have the knife to their nails in a Uh, I remember a character like that, but I don't remember their name and such. Yeah, same, but you can't be close to your world, except world. Yeah. yeah replace the fingers without the one damn long sword. Keep your home. Yeah, this game pretty much negates all most of its weapon use when it well when it forces you to block uh, constantly, which will well, more than likely break the weapon before you get like five hits in, with it. Because this thing is going to break on the next block. You have a good room, so you could use some weapon for a good while, but yeah. You hear that these enemies know how to block a bit better. Yeah. Like, it is nice that it's different combat to the Soul of Eva games, but if you're if every if every combat encounter just evolves into a block, 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 weapon breaks, attack. Uh, grab new weapon, repeat from there. Then, yeah. Yeah, but at least it should be done so that the weapons have, are more durable. <laughs> Definitely. Since, let's be honest, a weapon does not break that easily unless chain is horribly. You're just horribly using them. Uh, well, he's probably putting that in. He's probably putting a lot more power behind his swings. That can be uh, explained. No. Yeah. Oh, I almost fell for you, little motherfucker. I almost forgot those. But yeah, the old draw is that that will make it hard to block. No, yeah. come on. And he also used to say. Well, at least uh, someone did uh, one, uh, need to learn uh, what we have learned, or something like that. I, I don't know what I would say there. Okay, I think we've reached where this game goes full cyberpunk. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, are, th are those people? Those are indeed people. Even through this bad pixelation I have again. I can see that's people. What people? Ah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, hello there. Um, Berserk. Uh, the wrong button. Oh. <laughs> there was Fury, not Berserk. Yeah, come on, just stay down. Okay, it seems you can catch these things off guard somewhat. Now let's see. I am a bit surprised that the 
may not be Hildren, especially the Hildren Warriors here. Don't wear a lot of penalty. Oh, I see what we. Yeah, I see what we need to do now, and that suddenly got pretty loud. Uh, what were you saying there? You were kind of shut off by uh, <laughs> the noise. Yeah, I said I'm surprised over how little clothing some of the children are using. Well, I don't think those warriors are really willfully made like that. Yeah, true. Sam. Let's be honest, who wants to replace four fingers with a damn uh, saber? Just to yeah. keep one thumb. Yeah, you'll always find some idiot uh, or madman in a group <laughs> willing to do that. Uh, uh, yeah. Actually, a lot of people in the cyberpunk world would probably do that. Yeah, but imagine how damn difficult it would be to do it. I have to say again that I do like the revelation that the Glyph Wardens, I think their name was, uh, were actually Hildren or Hilden in disguise. I almost called them Hildren again. Yeah. But I do also think they should have shown up more than just to, because I, the last we saw of them was like uh, episode three or so. Yeah, like so one of them is on the intro, and then the boss, uh, yeah, Sarah Fan Lord. So, uh, if if they'd been more of a presence all over, like uh, you can. You can catch glimpses of some glimpses of them uh, working near glyph magic. That probably would have added more to them. Yeah. And I'm yeah. getting s I'm getting some Beyond the Good and Evil vibes from this place now. <laughs> okay. Oh, what was I about to say? Yeah. All right. I, I remember when I saw the glyph keepers. I noticed directly something with the eyebrows and eyes, and I already then theorized if they were possessed by Hildren or our Hildren in disguise or something, and yeah, I'm a bit surprised at how right I was. Yeah, as I said, I, I thought they were more like vampires uh, in service. Yeah, I don't hey. know but I know it was something, something not vampiric with eyes. Okay, what's happening here now? Uh, are those other children? Okay, that one got flushed. The hell is going on here? I'm pushing that for first of all it was human, but now I realize that might oh, or is it human? The, my first guess is that this thing is disposal or something, so... But, hmm, we'll have to continue on to find anything more. I... I missed it, that there was water down there, and now we're back here. What? what? Oh. Oh, that far back. <laughs> Cobas and fire in chat, it's a Surland Green Factory. <laughs> Yep, and I, I was about to warn you to watch out for the wall fights. But what that will not do on my life. Uh, uh, I know of the... I know of the and Green meme, like uh, and Green is people and all that, but I've never really seen that movie or whatever it's from. That's a first one for me. Oh, come the hell! It... You can see why this combat system is bullshit at them, because it it should have been wide open for attack right there. And yet still, it blocked me. Yeah, and now... I never that. 
I never like that games do that. Okay. Cobras and fire again feed your vampires to other vampires to make more vampires. Huh? What? Uh, also, this whole game is kind of bullshit, but I still love it. Uh, yeah, I can see how you can get fun from it, but yeah, the the combat at the very least gets both aggravating and entertaining. Actually, yeah. I forgot something. Let's see. Get here, you. They have very good ideas for it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that should help deal with these things a bit easier. Just, just pick them up, toss their sorry asses away. Okay. Get up, baby. Okay, they pulled on me what I was planning to pull on them. Oh god. Uh, well, as I was saying, I like the main ideas that were planning for a combat system, but it would be fun. Polish, much of it seemed unpolished. Yeah, we've talked about this a lot, but this game was at, was at the very least rushed, and yeah, that never ends well. Yeah, one year development time. There are some games I could see work for one year development, if it's built in that, that it can work that way, but this is not one of them. Yeah. Okay, let's try and fight this thing alone for now. And then we'll toss that guy in the deep. But, yeah, after Hydrophobia, I find my... Uh, Bullshit limits to be a lot lower. Yeah, I can understand you. <sighs> oh, we keep... Especially okay. when we're going to keep dying to this motherfucker over and over. Okay, back to Berserk. That's just going to be our entire our crutch for the entire rest of the game. Roar! But uh, yeah. I I told Drakir this in uh, personal messages after the stream, but for Hydrophobia gets even worse after where we quit, beyond just the bullshit uh, death checkpoint. In that, well, the game is plain unfinished. It has an ending, yeah, but it's an ending that resolves nothing. You just, you just beat the the bitchy cult leader. Uh, y you get the antidote you were looking for for the nano plague that was infesting you, and you fall on conscience, and that's the end of the game. And what yeah. makes all of that even worse, Hydra the game, the version that we played, the Hydrophobic Prophecy, was a remake. Yeah. Um, like. Yeah. So even when they had the chance to completely redo the game, they still could not fucking finish it. So yeah, that 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 game is just going. To uh. That, that is probably going to be the worst game I've played yet. Come the hell on. I think the game is now actively trying to piss me off. Uh, come the fuck on. Okay, we're just... From here on, we're just going to completely... Jeez, all of the combat and use only Berserk. Because this is getting bullshit. Yeah. It probably isn't it probably isn't helping that I'm getting aggravated, which is making my game uh, me play even worse. Yeah. 
but it also doesn't help when the dodge doesn't respond. I think the dodge just doesn't want you to dodge upwards on a slope or something. Okay, are you going to stay down? For fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm guessing today is going to be the angry stream. I think you, you have easiest time to kill that damn thing when you are not on the slope. So you might be onto something there. Okay, just lure the motherfucker up here. And just suffer through all of this. That must be you! Uh, he'd been doing he'd been doing that attack sometimes now. Okay. It's just not always that he combos it. Like in any other game, after a, a heavy attack like that, a, an enemy is going to be exposed. This game did just nope. Immediately guards again. Half an hour and already no fucking further. Yeah, we did get further until you actually fell into water and now we got stuck here. Yeah. Uh, Okay, Kerbus and Fight, you could try fighting them by the water together and just hoping they'll rush you and you can push them into the water. Yeah, I'm just going to try and throw them again. Enough of a slow mo. Yeah. Come the hell! Like, it, the game is just plain not being fair. In clear windows where you should be able to grab these motherfuckers, it just does not. And did the hilt would just okay? At certain angles, its body just phased away into the wall. Okay, and um, I have to say, 8 out of 10 for a throw. Okay, at the very least we can drain the water here, because I'm guessing that is going to... That might have been a planned uh, counterpoint against throwing characters off water, or off ledges, or into water. That, well, you can't heal from them. But in this case we can. Uh, actually, yeah, that's a typical trade-off with games that allow you to uh, throw enemies off ledges or so. It makes for an easier kill, but you can't get any resources off of them. Yeah, honestly, I can't enough to have the resources pop up on the beach uh, end, whatever you throw it. But not many games are that kind. And personally, I, I think that would... I knew that one was there. Personally, I think that'd be, that'd be a, a decent trade-off to, well, sacrifice some resources for an easier kill. Yeah, it does make sense. Okay. Uh, Let's just ignore him. 
loudly get that thing to move over again. Let's say nope to hit. Okay, now it was a turning button that got stuck for a moment. Yeah, after this and Hydrophobia, I'm really going to need a good game to just counterbalance the bullshit that I, I've been through with these last two games here. Yeah. Uh, Ow. I, I, I'll have to admit, though, that a lot of the troubles with this game could just be because it is an older game that has to run through a different program to run stably. Yeah, that so I can't, bl I can't blame it, the game alone, for everything that's happening, but it's still getting extremely frustrating. And I, I only noticed the mist here after we were done killing these one here. So this time, let's make use of that. Surprise! Uh. His surgery for spinal correction just came up early. <laughs> okay, that's just plain satisfying with these things being fucking annoying. <laughs> okay, get some sip from this guy. Spinal fluid. And wait, hold on, hold on. Let's take a look inside there, in within the glass. What the hell is that? Is is it? Wait, let's take a better look at this. Okay, this. It it looks like it should be just a normal shoot, but it looks organic. Very organic. Yeah, at, f at first thought I th this might have been uh, disposal, but no, everything is going in there. So everything must be passing whatever's going on. It. Why is that cloth tapping them? <laughs> they are already on the track, or are they coming? Okay, it looks like they might be coming in too fast or something. Yeah, like I said, it has to go, make it in, 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 in the right direction, I guess. And all those humans are cargoes. And they, well, at the very least, they're humanoids, which doesn't really give much difference at the moment. Yeah. So if they are human, then they are huge. It could also be that there are Hildren being brought back from the demon realm somehow. But again, we lack information. Yeah, we can't, we're only getting a side view, so we can't really see if they have the head frills like these guys do. Yeah. Th that, that this could also be where they are making Hildred super soldiers. Like, yeah, they're what they gave you quite a lot of pain. Okay, where's the damn ne next <coughs> save point? Can you speak of the demo? Okay. okay, I should I should just block those. They break my guards. But at least it doesn't get any damage through, I think. No idea, I should probably keep an eye on that. Okay, so two times is enough to kill these. They look so very pained. Actually, they look like they have been starving. Oh, okay, oh, how much was that? Was 25% of the me level? Yeah, and do I have to ask, is the plan today to just 
finish the game? Uh, I I don't think it'll take a full two hours, or if if it does, it probably doesn't take too much after that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll get to the end of the game here. Yeah, if it like one extra hour, fine. But yeah, if it is like two hours more than the remaining hours, it's definitely going to be from that. What what is up with these decorations actually? If those even are decorations. <gasps> they sound like some sort of banshees. Yeah. They, they sound like they are in pain well you were kicking their ball, so. Well, with how emaciated they look, I don't think they will actually have any balls left. Yeah, or they even have organs in that manner. What? Crobas and fire again, they look kind of flat when you kill them, but a little top graphics 10 out of 10. Yeah, and... Was it me or did that damn sound like a damn bird? Yeah. Actually, what do, what do we do here? Okay, let me get th this right. Your sound of warning heavy cargo is moving is a pleasant bird sound? What? No, it, it sounded like it was meant to be like that. Like, uh, with, uh, when a truck backs up and such, it gives off that uh, sound to notify people, like, stay the hell out of the way. Yeah, but it, uh, it sounds a bit unpleasant, which triggers you to know, oh, I need to back away. That sound did not sound like one of those sounds, but... I think I see what I need to do here. Uh, if I even can do it. I got it. That sound sounds too pleasant. It sounds like a damn melody. Not really a warning sound. <laughs> okay. Can I climb up on this? Uh, wrong button. Uh, I'm guessing I have to bring this guy across somehow. Kerbus and fire again. Well, I guess that's because you've sucked all the blood out of them, <laughs> so they <laughs> deflate like a cartoon. <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, yeah, they don't seem to have any bust. I'm unsure. Actually, they. But it sounded made when they're attacking. I think those are males. Uh, could be. Could be that uh, the Hilden are. Uh, one sex uh, species, but we don't know a lot about the hilt when even with everything uh, from the oh, I'm blind. There's a but bridge here that was sort of hidden by the bar oh. here. I saw it, but did not think of it. Okay, move that thing out of the way. I was overthinking it. Have male and female. Okay. If I remember right, so yeah, as we see, they are very yeah. They, they just it, it is these ones are very malnourished. Is this is this you compare to the Seraphim Lord? Well, the, the Seraphim Lord is in like. Five tons of armor, so for all we know, there are a skeleton underneath all of that. Uh, point taken, and the armor looks like the version of my power armor. Yeah, and with how cyberpunk this is getting, I wouldn't be surprised if it actually is power armor. Yeah, or in their case, glyph armor.
What is actually with that symbol? I'm trying to get a good look, but the camera keeps moving back. It doesn't actually seem to be like a symbol, like... Just it's a... It scribbles I mean, more like maybe maybe it's a symbol to the children, but to human eyes at least, it's a bunch of jar gerbil jargon. Tyrion, I hmm? don't think that's a symbol. I think those are organs and guts. See another possibility. But the more look like it, the more look like a glass window. And what you see is something filling it. Going to send another uh -oh. pet at me. Yep. Oh, come on. Okay. This is not a Pokemon battle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be the same as before. We kill it the, and the, the shield drops. At least these okay. are somewhat easier. Yeah. From what? Uh, oh wait, this up power up one. There's still no real explanation as to what's up with that, but I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing you're supposed to figure out that. Well, it's it's being empowered. Though how it. Empowers it really isn't ever, isn't explained. Yeah. Oh wait. Have you seen the ones without it do breath attack? I don't think so. That might be the difference. When you see them like this, they breathe at you, and you die to it. Yeah. They don't just need a tic tac. They need a whole caravan's worth. <laughs> oh God. The mental image. <laughs> okay, come on, Ugly. Oh, I'll fight on. you on your own terms. That was true. That's quick, the kill the end of it. Children, I mean, made the hand get shot. He got very pixelated again. <laughs> I think they crossed my screen. Remember to put that back on. Oh, you're still up. You're damn. Oh. <laughs> he was only barely up. And yeah, now it can. Yes. <laughs> now it could watch its uh, minion squirm it as it died. Yes, yes, we get it. We like you like the sound of your own voice. Also, you you like going commando, but we don't want to see that. I don't know what that human's name is. And what is it then? Human scientist. Okay. Uh... He said that they all want to memorize. Oh, they have test subjects bound up down here, I'm guessing. I'm hearing them, but I'm not seeing them tied up, so are they in... They are in the box. Okay. And I'm probably in the box in a loser, and alright, time to try the music again. <laughs> Wrong music again. <laughs> I don't know what the heck was. I think I was about to do the... Can-can? <laughs> what? Were you, th were you trying to do the can-can this time or something? I thought I was about to do the... Uh, one. Okay, but is that going... Is that going to put him down? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh wait, no, I know what I was about to do. I almost made a na 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 na
Okay, two humans here. One of these empowered bone spiders or demon spiders, was it? No, no, those are lesser demons. Okay. The, you're dealing with the spiders at the, you know, time to... Okay, that was partially my fault. Again. The other fault is that Kane just seems to keep walking forward sometimes. Even when you try to turn around. Mm. Come on. Okay, I tried to jump over him there. Oh, I thought he was going to jump on his head like more. No, that's only reserved for uh, glitchy t turtles. <laughs> Not to be tried on view of life turret. Yeah, turtles. Why, why did I say turrets? <laughs> Almost. Come on, get through you again. Still not enough. There we go. Actually, do we even need to fight this jackass? Just get out of the combat. Okay, fill up. Switch to jump. And just ignore this asshole. Okay, because I'm pretty sure we need to go over there. Bye bye. Oh, is that another weapon here? No, but oh, this one's inactive. Huh? Oh, you maybe need to do something to activate it. Yeah. But where then? We we could try we could tr <clears throat> we could try charming one of the guys in there, but they're both bound up, so they wouldn't be able to go anywhere. And I guess we can't possess the children. And I very yeah, I very much doubt that we can possess the lesser demon. Will this perhaps finally work? Okay, but the that crashed the game. What? Okay. So, no immolating, or we'll end up immolating the game itself. Yeah, okay. If he does that again, if you try that skill, then yeah, perma ban from immolation. Okay, showing the screen to you. So I guess that proves that the game might be a bit too old for the computer. We'll test it on this thing. What the? It's gonna be a bit weird of late when it comes to streaming. Mm -hmm. How so? Well, as I told you before, it's sometimes it's suddenly just not show the stream, but shows uh, uh, your uh, Discord icon instead. Okay. Like it's decided to. No, I was now I switch to this other thing in the corner. Come on. Okay, that one dealt with, then we'll try to emulate this guy.
Come on. It's a good thing that these guys don't have any of those red attacks. Okay, so... It does work without glitching the game. Alright, might just be we were unlocked yet that time. Hmm. Still, I think better to avoid it. Or at least only use it when near a save point. Yeah, as a just in case. Oh, hello there. I have to realize that skill could definitely have made a few things easier early on. Like, yeah. there's a problem there. Yeah, as long as it wouldn't crash the game. Yeah. Get back up. Come here, you. Don't tell me I'm going to guide to this jackass now. Yes, I am. I was trying to grab him so he could throw me in the water. Punishment to try to get start points. <sighs> no, not for that, but just to get it over with sooner. Yeah. How can a game punish you just for that? Okay, just waste your time against me because you're wasting everyone's time here. Actually, I probably shouldn't. Don't even need to attack because that immolation spell probably kills things instantly. It does require the bar to be completely full after all. <clears throat> okay. Actually, let's just kill you normally and then we'll melt the idiot downstairs. Okay, <sighs> hi, bye. You. Yeah, we can suck this one dry. Now it crashes because of something else. The processor. Oh, come on, you need to reset it every time that you start the game. Yep. Uh, okay, that's our our that's the O set on our end. Let's see. Can I perhaps permanently change that or something? Properties is not opening anything. While you fix that, I grab your sandwich. That's what you see my Okay, no, don't end the process. <sighs> Let my mouse go. Let my mouse go, game. Yeah, like I said, the angry stream. Or at least a highly frustrated one. Let... If Drakir can't see it, he can't accurately commentate. There we go. Like, I have no idea why it does that. I, I'll have to look through uh, DXWND to see if maybe there's an option in there that's somehow responsible for that. <laughs> okay. Had to roast the bread for his frozen. Okay. 
another annoyance that you could call with this game is that while you train while you change armor a few times you're not actually getting any more uh, you're not getting any higher defenses you're only getting more health and while that it on its own is good typically enemies attacks damage will far outgrow your health pool yeah health high health pool is usually very good when combined with high armor <laughs> and yeah I think I read that somewhere that you, you can access him to have iron armor and no idea how. Yeah, it, could, it could be that uh, the Kane's current you know, outfit already is that iron armor. Since he did get metal shoulder pads and such. Possible, but I think it could be only two seeds. So it might be a different one. Come on, I can't even damage it while it's trying to do that attack. I, again, you'd think it leaving itself wide open for that should mean that you can attack it. At okay, no point and case. Did the mob chase you? Yep. I'm getting the feeling that we might not reach the end of this game in this stream after all, just because of all the bullshit that it's throwing at us. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Like, I'm, I'm not even going to try and keep count of how many times we've died here now. At least like six times. Not this time. Okay, that one dealt with. Now let's see if we can incinerate the guy down the stairs. Get out of the way. Okay, let's see if we can incinerate. Wait. Kane, stop out of walking! Burn you up. Drain you. And let's finally make some freaking progress. should activate the lever down below over the water so watch me fall into the water this time going on here with this is wait was that a giant heart of some sort and we we basically just pulled its heart it's a life support or something No, well, uh, oh, that one's out of its. That one's out of its enclosure. Okay, let's quick. Let's quickly grab the experience over here.
Never mind, because this thing had is on us now. Like, seriously, it should be wide open for attack after something like that. Give me that blood. Again, as we've been saying, this game has been rushed with plenty of corners cuts. Yeah. <sighs> Let's at least hope that there's a freaking save point. Okay, actually, yeah, over this way. That thing got out of its cage, then that meant that this wall was also gone. Oh goody. At, at least these scientists don't have a red attack to break through your guards and damage you. Come on, I'm not going to die to this little dickhead. Is that enough to put you down? It is. What? Okay, they. I just realized they have a lot of blood. Yeah. How do they way skinnier than a human, and they have way more blood? Okay, now now we go back up there. If there's something. If there's something spawned in that room now, I'm just going to throw something. If it's a Hildren, I'm going to throw them into the water. Okay, no Hildren, no throwing. Oh, I forgot about them. So, let's just ignore them. They can just uh, wait there and mourn their demon spider, lesser demon, whatever. For the rest of time, for all I care. Hello. Yeah, that's a hydron in a container. Some sort of life support, perhaps. Hmm. Or stasis, some stasis bank. Oh, of course, you give us a weapon box when there's no weapons nearby. And the only way you could have got any weapon you would have brought here would have been broken in combat. Okay, what the hell is with this? If these if these guys are going to jump out, come on, save point. Come on. Okay, you just waste your time. Yep. 
Yo, come on, how did... What? I look away for one second and somehow the Berserk gets disrupted. At least with each one of these that we kill, we do get a bit closer to the next level. Yep, and good god. I have heard that at least the, they are merciful in the way that if you do kill one, you will get a lot of health back. Okay, so, finally. Okay, another storage of these boxes. They seem to be so troublesome. I really hope we all close to the final boss. Yeah. I'm guessing that that final boss is going to be this mass creature. And this will probably push us over to the next health extension. Get out of that. I want to make more nom nom yos for you than Kane. Jeez. We don't hear that one yet. I have humor, I guess. And I can't English at the moment. Wait. Wait. No, there's multiple. Wait, did we just get locked in here? I'm pretty sure that door was open earlier. Okay then. Okay, yeah, that is a concern. So, I mean, if if this is a glitch, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a door here. I'm just seeing a black void. Did the rest of the levels just unload or something? Because these doors have, well, the door in front of them. Here is just a wall of black. Actually, I see. I can see the things that are cables and wires there on my screen. I can't so, see it even on the OBS screen. Well, I see it quite clearly. It's just now, especially now without the pixelation, there uh, is something there. It looks like uh, wires and tubes. So I don't think you're supposed to enter that. Isn't that just how we just entered? Or... Hmm. I, I think we're missing something around here. Unless we had a sea point nearby. Oh, hello there. Okay, we're supposed to go down here. You know what? Fuck you. You can't follow me down here. And now we have green bubbling water. I hope I expected to meet him just following you there. And the door. And you are... The first with some actual brains. Oh, that that's water. Okay, yeah, we need to get out quick. Okay. Oh, come on. Another door here. There is no one to possess there. Wait, I think there's a switch there. Or Swi a switch, switch where? Oh, it was not a switch. I'm very pixelated at the moment. 
Yep. See, the only thing I can think of is to try and charm this guy. But, oh, hel there, hello there. Random servant that just walks in. Open this. And you, you're going to regret that taunting. Now, if we didn't go too far back. Yeah. I will admit that this is a clever trap. Well, it's a really simple and just really efficient trap. And it is actually just a glass door. Shouldn't he just be able to just punch through that? It's not even a. It's not even one of those anti-vampire fields. Well, it is greenish, so might be a glass door with blip energy in it. <laughs> and actually, I would be surprised if the barriers cannot uh, keep watering. For example. Yeah, yeah, just keep on taunting. Oh, come on, I can't pull it on him. Yeah, that's uh, Go for a swim. That would have that would have been absolutely perfect if we just could have locked him in there, huh? Okay, instead then. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to throw them over the edge. At the very least, we don't get damaged from those attacks. Take two. Okay, also a bust. Back in there and stay in there this time. Okay, we can't drain him now though, so that is a negative. Also, a window there. Uh, okay. Oh, a window where? That sealed off the door. We we opened that with this, the lever. No, no, no. I thought there was a, was a glass window preventing you from throwing him out. Uh, no, it was just yeah, the game geometry being weird. And the hell is this now? What the? Are we in that elevator? Last found it. The foul mass hidden within the bowels of the device. Here was the Seraphan Lord's ultimate weapon, his trump card, to be played against human and vampire alike. But I had my own weapon. I could feel the builder's blood course coldly through my veins. If I could use it to poison this creature, the Seraphan Lord's plans would be ruined. Okay, so this is the mass. Uh, uh. And I'm pretty sure it didn't save there. So yes, back here again. Let's move to possession. And this time let's ignore the scientist. 
yeah, we're we're at an hour fifteen. If this is going to take a while more, then we might not be able to finish this stream anyways. But if if it, the game just ends with us killing the mass, prob maybe even fighting the Seraph and Lords, then maybe we can still finish the game this time, and then next time we can move to Bloodstains, which should be yeah. a lot pl more pleasant of an experience. Yeah, it's not to be like. The game has had some bumps here and there, but it's been doable. But near, yeah. Next time you're gonna wanna, it's better just get it done and over with. So you can move with something more pleasant. And I pray, just pray to Odin. That the last bosses won't be too hard. <sighs> I hope they'll be pushovers. Oh, so this is a weird ass elevator. We have to climb in from the top. Okay, that is weird. And again, what's up with the canisters? At last I had found it. The foul mass, hidden within the bowels of a device. Here was the Saraphan Lord's ultimate weapon, his trump card, to be played against human and vampire alike. But I had my own weapon. I could feel the Builder's blood course coldly through my veins. If I could use it to poison this creature, the Saraphan Lord's plans would be ruined. I have and they are feeding them to it. Could be, yeah. Now, how do we poison this thing? And, and I can't see if there's water down there or not. I'll presume that there is. Yeah, I can't confirm due to pixelation at the moment. Okay, what have we here? Just. Just some red rock. Yeah, I see some uh, beanery there. Just some what? Uh, that you pull the beanery. Oh, le the, le the lever. Or lever, yeah. however you pronounce it. Yeah, it's a bit hard for me to see what the heck it is in terms of pixelation. Okay, finally another checkpoint. Oh, the warrior! An 80%. That's hopefully a good sign. Yeah. Okay. Come on. I'm guessing that this will only break once we kill this thing. Oh, actually, no ice. No, this thing is here just here to make our life more annoying because we need to use telekinesis to open to open that gate. It needs you to do it without things and stuff. With a horrible breath. Just fucking die. Like if if these enemies were better programmed to be m more vulnerable when they should be, like most of the human characters have been, then a, a lot of this would be a lot more tolerable. Yeah. Because it's not, it's a lot of bullshit. immediately go into that spitting attack and become invulnerable. <sighs> it's cheesing us? Come on. No, not that. Okay, 
Maybe if I got this game to work with controller, it would have been more easier, but... Because when you are guarding like this, you can't dodge the sides. And because it takes half a second to get out of the blocking, you can't instantly dodge to the sides. Yeah, that's that's bad programming. Uh, it's it's supposed to give the game more weight to its combat, which would work if the en if these enemies also had the same weight to their s mechanics, yeah. like uh, you know being exposed when they should be exposed. Yeah, I agree. Especially when enemies don't cheese. Okay, I don't care who you are, you are a blood bag. Actually, when I think about it, I don't know many of the games when the enemies start cheesing you. Except for maybe a rare few fighting games. Mm. Actually, not even. Yeah! Not even many of the use the cheese. I can't think of any at the moment now, but it, I've probably played a few that pull stuff like that, or at least to make things more difficult, but in turn, you also get more powerful, so you can deal with that. Yeah, I'm referring to the AI that's so bad at the side that it's actively cheats as I think in your moment. There's another one of these. Okay, this one's dealt with. We're already up for another. Wait, did I miss? Oh, I missed the uh, the experience box at the at the checkpoint uh, before the hallway. Okay, I thought I thought we'd already filled our experience up again, but no. Can we get to grab it? Uh, no, we, we're too far back, and the elevator is, is a point of no return. Oh. Oh well. These two might get us over the threshold. Okay, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this one will tip it off, or tip it over. I have or to say, not. Okay, Hildren? Gives you way more blood than the demons. Okay, so you need to completely drain a body to get the experience out of them? Even when you're already full of health? Okay. And another level up. Uh, like. Overall, this is still not a terrible game, probably even considered a good game, but you know, wants me to jump across, which this guy is going to be a problem with. Actually, you come here. You've been demoted. Come on. What? Come on. Get up. Grab this guy. There, your floor wax now. Better be another save point at the end here. Let's see. Yeah, they, I, hope, I hope so. But I don't. I don't like when games cheat out on save points or something like that on very difficult areas. <clears throat> okay, let's let's have an actual look here. Like what? is this thing like just a, a blob floating in the air by its tendrils and its fins it can be this could fix the pixelations please hmm. so this looks important so 
Okay. What? what the heck just happened? Yeah, a folding bridge. <laughs> That's fooled on the people? Okay, I'm guessing... Uh, yeah, we... No comments? Okay, uh, just... And... I guess that is the uh, infamous mass dealt with. <laughs> okay, it isn't floating, it has to stem to the ground there. So, was it supposed to be like some sort of giant brain? No idea. At the very least we didn't have to fight that thing. And we're at the exit. I think. You still here, Terrell? Hey. Wait. You don't look like Terrell. You do not know me for the poor oppressed beast that crouched here before. Behold, I am restored. What are you? Not what came, but who. My visage is unknown to you, but my name is not. Have you heard the story of the oldest vampire? Janos Ordren. The legendary vampire of ancient days. How was this transformation possible? But Janos is dead. His heart torn from his body. Not dead, but imprisoned in this place. My blood was needed to power the device and feed the mass within. Starved of blood and sapped of life, I devolved into that horrible creature. The moment you poisoned the mass, I felt my strength return. That which is divine cannot be wholly suppressed. Divine. Your imprisonment has damaged your mind, Janos. The curse of vampirism is no mark of divinity. Ah, you must delve further back into history, Cain, to know the truth of our heritage. Long ago, and long before I first walked the earth, vampires were godlike, and our kind ruled the land. But we were opposed by another race, similar to ours in power, but different in method and intention. The wars between us flamed for a thousand years, but we prevailed at last, and we banished our enemies from the face of the earth by powerful magic, sealing them into another plane of existence. What is this history lesson to do with my task at hand? Patience came. The race that fought the vampires was the Hilden, the very Hilden that you have just encountered. They control the Seraphim. They are striving to wipe out the vampires, enslave the humans, and reclaim all Nosgoth as their own. They are the evil that plague us once again, authors of the demons and the device and all else that threatens the land. They have returned to enact a terrible revenge. I thought you said that they were banished. They were, Cain. But several centuries ago, one of the Hilden was able to return to our world. He then used his magic to draw other Hilden through, but had not yet the power to begin a full invasion. He required an army here, and humans to drain of energy. He learned of a legendary order whose purpose was to purge the world of vampires long ago. He revived this order, and the Seraphan were born again. The Seraphan Lord. It was he that broke through. But how? Ah, now we come to your part in this story. 
When you chose to destroy the Pillar of Balance, you caused a rift throughout the world sufficient to breach through the dimensions. Was it I, then, who had engendered this war? No. I had been set step by step upon the path that led to this outcome. Hadn't this all been a Hilden plot from the beginning? My mind reeled at the implications. It was in this way that the Seraphim Lord was able to enter the world by building a magical gate. This is the Hilden Gate. Close this gate, Cain, and all the Hilden within Nosgoth will perish. The gate sustains their existence? Precisely. It is their umbilical cord to the other world. When it is closed, they cannot dwell in our world. And so all the Hilden will die, and the Seraphan Lord, as one of them, dies as well. I see. Ah. Close the gate and kill the Seraphan Lord, Cain. Close the gate and shut the Hilden from the world once again. And how is this to be done? Let us go to Sanctuary. Vorador must be informed of all that has occurred, and a plan can be drawn to finish this once and for all. So we have another level to go, but I did not expect that to be Janos. Nor did I. I did I expect it to be Turel, but Janos? You should have sent me with him. Yeah. You were wounded. There is no way to know where Cain has gone or what he is doing. Even you haven't been able to contact him. What's this? No, wait. Do I dare believe my senses? Janos? My sire. They killed you. No, far worse. But that is a story for another time. Oh, there will be no time for any of us. Vorador, we need your counsel. We were wondering where you were. I've been doing what I said I would do. Cain? The device? I have destroyed it. But we are now faced with a peril even greater than before. How is this? The ancient history I will convey to you in a better hour, should any of us be so fortunate as to reach such a time. For this moment, you must believe me when I tell you your enemy, our great enemy, the Seraphan Lord, is one of a people that come from another world. His plan, beyond all others, is to bring this enemy race back into this world, from which my kind in another age once banished them. He must be prevented, or all our kind will perish. Sire... What must we do? He has created a base in this world, the Hilden City, across the sea. There, he has opened a gate to bring his kind into our world. My plan was to teleport us to the Hilden City and launch a final assault on the Seraphan Lord. But now, I find there is some kind of shield of magic that prevents me. If we are to fight them, that shield must be destroyed. Vorador, where is the Hilden city? Have any of your spies brought you this knowledge? Uma, what do you know of this? There has been, in the past months, enormous activity at the wharves. Warships and freighters loading and unloading in great secrecy. Our people who have infiltrated the area and returned alive have told me that the ships all seem to take the same course out of the harbor, but we do not know their destination. It must be the Hilden city. Why else would there be such interest at this time? You must take a ship to the city at once. There, you must find and deactivate the shield. So whatever forces we can bring may come to your aid and close the gate for all time. Have someone show me to the wharves. I'll make my way aboard one of those ships that's about to sail. When I have deactivated the shield, I'll contact you. I'm going with him. But I will need you here. Sire, I know the wharves. And where one may fail alone, two may succeed. I have no need of a guard at my back. 
You will find me perfectly competent for this task, I assure you. It is a chance we cannot afford to take. Not when all we have fought for is at stake. There is more at stake than you can imagine. Take help where it is offered, Cain. It is settled. I will prepare our forces for the final attack. Go well, my child. Go well, both of you. Take help where it is offered. Yet I've always found that help offered when not needed is usually no help at all. And Kane just being arrogant again. Yeah, but it looks like we have at least two more levels to go through it to hell. Theodore has said we must seek out a war galley. We should search um, the southern docks. What are the defenses here? The heaviest of all the Seraphan outposts. They control all trade and all travel to and from Meridian. The Seraphan are nothing compared to what I have faced and destroyed. Don't be so arrogant. Their finest warriors will be waiting within. The Glyph Knights are deadly. We shall see. Um. Tell me one thing, Cain, before we go in. If you do kill the Seraphan Lord and recover the Soul Reaver, what then? You know the answer to that. Tell me. Then Meridian and all Norsgoth will become mine. And the Vampire Resistance? Well, you may do whatever you wish, of course. Of course. What? Do you take me for a fool? You dare! Borador has told me all your stories, Kane. He said that you would stop at nothing to achieve your great ambition, absolute power. And when you control Nosgoth, are we to believe that you would let us vampires live and do what we wish? We are the only ones who could stand in your way. No, you will have to hunt us down and kill us. And how is that different from the rule of the Seraphan Lord? I will not defend or explain my actions to you, Uma. No one, not even you, will stand in my way. I thank you, Cain, for giving us this chance to defeat the Hilden for all time. But you have done enough. I shall be the one to find and kill the Seraphan Lord, and Nosgoth shall belong to the vampires once again. You fool. You have not the smallest chance of surviving such a battle. Now, give me the Nexus Stone, or I shall pry it from your thieving fingers as you convulse in death. Now the beast shows his true nature, and so quickly too. I wish it had been otherwise for us, Kane. Okay. Uh, that? One small problem with Uma's reasoning there, I think. Kane's a fucking vampire, so even if he were the absolute ruler, vampires would still be the, the ruling class. Yeah. So. And this is some bad. This is a bad moment for the. Ah! Th this is the thing that I hate in some modern series and stuff is betrayal. For the worst reason, at the worst moment, but it does not make sense. Like, Uma... We don't know what Uma has been doing before this game, but she got her she got her ass caught. Uh, so yeah, she definitely showed that he... No. Huh? Kane hasn't been imprisoned, at the very least, so... He has that over and also what the hell is with this armor? That's probably the Glyph Knights. No, Kane's armor here. Oh yeah, the Just... Kane's armor in his um... <sighs> He looks like he's going to get stuck in a doorway. And also give yeah. me a second. Bots be gone. And also, I think this is the level I told you about where we might end up possessing a certain someone. Yeah. <sighs> but 
But uh, to go from to go from the device to the harbor, if that that last level had the feel of like it could have been the last level. So yeah. <laughs> And there is certainly not enough time left in this stream uh, to finish another two levels. Yeah. And you definitely deserve a break. <sighs> and I can say this, now I can definitely start to feel the writing falling apart more. Yeah. And there we have the Jiggly corpse again. Yeah. I think it's the part where the original author were not writing it. I think someone else wrote this uh, script for this game. Yeah, uh, I, th I think that would have been clear like seven missions ago. Yeah. Uh, also, the hell is a w the hell is a civilian doing here in a military harbor? Uh, that's, that's a wrench I spoke about. Oh. And I thought you were to do more things with her, but it... Oh, I, I think I can see two good reasons uh, why she is allowed in here by the soldiers. Here they are. Eyes up there. <sighs> but yeah, it's very obvious for... I don't think the other author would have done those. Extreme bad cliches. No one's allowed through here without the password. The fogs come in and no ships will be sailing until they turn the lighthouses on. Light? You know what? Oh, come on. He can... He can mind control through glass. Or whatever sort of glass the Hilden use, but he can't control through some fucking bars. <sighs> last week, these were only 20 foot cubes. That was last week. Oh, this is robbery. Listen, friend, the Seraphim buy whatever they will at whatever price they please. This is all they left me, and I must still make a living. You're not the only one who has to live. Take it or leave it. I'll give you ten. That's robbery! Uh, yeah, my patience with this game is trying to run dry. It's not to the point, like, it's at the very least it didn't spawn us back into death on a checkpoint. So I will still be continuing with this game, but I am starting to, yeah, my, my patience is starting to run dry. With whatever it has left. Yeah. At least these human enemies should be a lot easier to deal with. And the hello. Yeah, someone's. Oh wait, did, haven't we fought one of those before? Uh, yeah, at, this, at, at the the Seraphon strongholds. So uh, one of these gallant man uh, cosplay it's wannabes. Oh, now we see it. Now we look closer. Okay, ow. Yeah, okay. Last time we beat the surprise it easily. So I guess this time we may struggle that we did not have the jump on him. Well might have might not have to jump, but we can make him fly still. Might he be a damn glyph knight? Yeah, his well, his sword has something on it, probably glyphs. And his armor, definitely. Yeah. Though uh, we've seen plenty of walking metal Christmas trees before. Yeah. But I, I guess you could call those glyph clerics or something. Squires. Or just glyph guards? Found his boat and no one in it. He never went out yesterday, that I'll swear. He went fishing, you say? 
He left the house to go fishing with young Plunkett, you know the lad. I went down last eve to see if he was back. His boat was there, but no one seen him. Plunkett's sister hasn't seen him either, since he left at dawn to meet my Jack yesterday. Oh, then they both drowned. They didn't go out, I tell you. The net was still rolled up in the bow. I rolled that net the day before, and Jack rolled it different from me. Not so tidy, you see. Or seem as light. I tell you, they never reached the boat. Then what happened to them? That's what I don't want to know. My Jack, he wouldn't have minded drowning. His brother was drowned and his dad. They'd be company for him, see? These goings on these days. It's more than I can understand. Hush, say no more. My Jack. Okay, yeah, at least we do know now what has been happening with the people that have been disappearing. The Yeah, the Seraphan and through them the, the Hilden have been feeding them to the mass to power their glyph and stuff. So I do have to wonder, now that it's dead, does that mean that everything powered by glyphs is just out now, or do they still have batteries? I think they still have glyphs and all that. Uh, I, I guess this answers my question. I guess if the glyphs was so massive, they have plenty of uh, glyph energy, and I suspect they use glyph energy. Actually, I think they used Glyph Energy to control it, along with that vampire guy. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they said that the power was coming from it. Hmm. We'll have to read that up, up later. Okay, come on. Now, what do you do? Oh, the lighthouse. Okay, that ship looks more like an, uh, a fat submarine or something. <laughs> uh, yeah. That'd be interesting to transport cargo. Just some extra place you can go through. Okay. Uh, please tell me that's enough to go back. And How did we end up here again? Oh, come on. Oh, it's you again. Times. It looks like it. Okay. Happy now? Not happy now. Wait. Oh, what? There's a second one that we need to do by the looks of it. Oh, wait, wait. He had a wait. What was his task for you? The lighthouses. And. Oh, I'm, yeah, then I'm guessing we were supposed to go a different way. Okay, she just spawned into existence there in the corner. <laughs> I guess we'll have to head towards the guards after all. Let's see. Ten minutes to go. Yeah, we'll... This is going to take a few more streams still, but... Oh, look at that one. She's a beauty. Vampires. We're, we're supposed to be looking out for vampires, not admiring ships. There could be vampires on the ships. Oh, look at the lines on that one. <laughs> you watch the ships, I'll watch the dock. Um, I get the feeling that these are also glyph knights, and that uh, that guy over there is a captain of sorts. So, uh, hello guys. Um, 
No JD. <laughs> that was a sudden reaction on the... For how close I managed to get. And I forgot about that attack. Why the heck do I headbutt when you're not really a helmet? Uh, did I throw that one into the sea? Nope. <laughs> and this again. Yeah. I'm just going to add that it's probably going to take another two or maybe even three no streams through here without the password the fogs come in and no ships will be sailing until it's they turn easy. the lighthouses on okay on the other hand though i get why they don't allow you to just uh, charm this guy and open the gate because if the <clears throat> if no ships are going to be sailing anyways if the lighthouses are off then we wouldn't be able to get on a ship to go to the Hilden City in the first place. Yeah. You get here. I keep forgetting that I should just block those attacks and dodge those. I hit you you saw me move there. I do, I hit the dodge. Okay, I'm saving this for one of the others. Again, you saw me move there. He just didn't complete the dodge. Okay, that one I couldn't dodge because I was still in the attack animation. I think I see why. Because, because the button's stuck again. Or not the button, the inputs. But again, seriously, what's with this fucking armor? allowed through here without the password. The fogs come in and no ships will be sailing until they turn the lighthouses on. <sighs> I hate this armor. I know there are people that, that, that love this kind of armor. Last week, these were only 20 for Kilo. Like, if I show sure people a pet down and look at the price, you know, they go in a pretty armor like that, they go, yay! I did not understand the genius behind this kind of armor. Can I drop this weapon somehow? Nope. Okay. Hey, fancy pants. You cold? Okay, I can't grab him. Okay, this time the dodge did work. Four, five. The okay, five hit combo. Okay, give me that, and give me that. Okay. Seems the other one died from that attack. 
Wasn't fully expecting that, but nice to know. done with him and that is okay I didn't notice that it looked like for a moment there was blood on it of they crashed into it that's what in the way it was heavy pixelated so then it was blood or cracks I saw it yeah. appear and disappear. Okay, after yeah, after this stream, I'm just going to Google up what is causing what causes pixelation in Discord screen sharing. Though it might it might actually be because I am streaming. Yeah, and maybe the webcam as well. And yeah, sometimes it's just fine. Also, I have to say that these puzzles are just, they're just padding, like, why, why ever would these things have to reset, like, as a circuit breaker, maybe, but, these, this doesn't work like electricity. It behaves similar, but... Hmm. Okay, set that thing on, send the fat sob off on, on its way, and now we can jump across. Uh, let's see... Yeah, at the next... at the next save point we'll have to call it. Yeah... And now... Hmm. They won't let me down to the docks. They say it's because of the fog, but I need to get to my boat. Just give them the password. North Star. You'll let you through. Thanks, mate. I owe you one. Okay. That was easy. Ladder C, ladder climb. And okay, that's I think that's the closest that any of these boxes have been to each other. Yeah. Tries to be close. And uh, what to say I will not be opposed if you start the blood uh blood stain the uh, make the kind of stream. Just to give you a slight break from frustrations. Yeah. Okay. Here's your stupid passwords. Again? Password. North Star. Good enough. Come on then. Okay, so it was an end case. Passwords and la lighthouses, because without the lighthouse, no nothing would sail anyways. But just in case for all of that. <laughs> Not even going to drink you. <laughs> okay, and um, okay, it's it's bad connection on my end at the moment, so that's probably why I'm gonna have pixelation at this time. Okay. <sighs> okay. Sorry, everyone who may who's been watching. Yeah, I've just been freaking frustrated lately, and. Yeah, this game didn't really help with that. I I'm still enjoying it. Don't get me wrong on that. Again, this isn't a terrible game. Uh, there are a lot worse games that aren't even competently made. But, yeah, it's just frustrating to play now. Yeah, at the worst moment since, yeah, Lost Stream was also frustrating. Yeah, well... <laughs> Even af even after the game, this game still frustrated me even further, because I forgot to tell this earlier. 
but it I already told you this here, but it outright deleted my save. So even if I'd oh, wanted yeah. to continue that game for the last bit, uh, yeah, plain denied. So, and yeah, when it, it when was... you have a game that you've that you're remaking, and you you still fail to make it competently work with respawning back into death, you don't even have to you don't even have an actual ending for it, and it's that broken that it, it'll delete your save. Yeah, that. I wouldn't say I wouldn't normally tell people I'd want them to be jobless, but I can absolutely see why the I think it was Dark Energy Limited why that developer went under. Dark Energy Limited. Yeah, something like that. Not... That sounds like a horrible gaming uh, company. Since <laughs> If you limited, that when you say dark energy limited, it sounds almost like you're confessing you have your very low, low limit or something. Now, I I think in company speak, limited stands for something a sort of company ser similar to incorporated and such. But I don't know, and neither do I really care at the moment. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. But anyways. Anyone who has been watching now later on on YouTube, uh, thank you for watching. And now to go through the, the people who are on the list here. Let's refresh it just to have it be accurate. Okay, thank you for watching Discord for streamers. Still unsure if you are a bot or not. It sounds like a bot. Yeah. Uh, Crow is on fire. Thank you as well. Sorry for all the bitching and moaning about this game. <laughs> uh, again, I, I still enjoy it. And thank you as well, another TV viewer. Uh, I'll hope you will view this again, maybe on TV, maybe or not. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you especially, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome. And I'd give you a hug if I could. <laughs> Just to be sure, I'm going to save this again. And yeah, I've fallen behind on uploading the streams again. So once more, I will, I will try to kick myself to upload everything that I haven't right after this Oof. and yeah next time more Legacy of Cain maybe in between I'll shove something in to, as a palette changer maybe Bloodstained I'll, yeah, I think I'll keep Bloodstained till after this game and maybe I'll shove in a something Thursday or something to have yeah, something different <laughs> for a bit. But, as always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks! <laughs>